what I see is like um, nicely your head is over the ball here, right? I'll kind of draw this line down through your left left side of your face, left ear. It looks like a try on the golf ball. You got the forward press that gives you that nice feel you talked about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as far as your leg work, you can see how your left knee is turning yeah. counterclockwise. Okay. And it's, uh, you know, giving you external rotation or whatever. It's limiting the hip movement for sure and sending mixed messages. You know, you're winding one way with the hip and the other way with the club and it's, it's not optimal. And what I notice is that when you get into the zone here, see how your head has moved three inches ahead of the golf ball? And so if you're already like feeling 60-40 on the left, let's say, weight-wise, and then you pressure more on the left foot, now your brain's going, okay, we're forward. We're going to stay forward on this, right, guys? And then sometimes, you know, it's how fast you can release your angles relative to how far ahead your, your, your body is already. So if I'm over it, I can't use my body into the shot like you, like you want to because it's already there. You know what I mean? It's already forward, so you can't go forward anymore. So then it's like, oh. Okay. my body forward and swing. Yeah, you're over here, and now it's like, well, <clears throat> do I hold this or do I release it? I got I to gotta get the club on the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you hold it, you'll scrape it and maybe leave the face open. And if you release it, you'll hit good shots and or, I don't know, maybe some extra pulls huh. like we're seeing, right? Yeah. So that's that's the dynamics of what you're doing. Yeah, go slow. Yep, go, 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 go. There you go. In there. So you're already at 90. That's cool. Okay. Right? Okay. So the knee, the, when you're turning, now you're straightening this knee here. And right. that's because the hip is pulling it. There you go. So what, do you, what's the, what initiates the downswing? The downswing is going to be a little bit of the, uh, the movement of your body towards the target. But you're also going to bring, yeah, but not to a point where your knee is so far out here that you, your hip can't, can't turn back this way. Okay. So for you, I think, think no knee slide because you're going to do it. Okay. okay. If anything, think um, when you're down in this area here that you've got to rotate. You already really, 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 really like the idea that you want to come into impact with no, no flip. Right. right. So that's by rotating the right shoulder through, the hips out of the way, and bam, in there, right? You, you like that, yeah. and I like that. Oh, good. Yeah. But, if, likes it too, well, well, a, but that's a rotary action. Right. right. It's from here. It's like you got to keep turning, and then the 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 ball gets in the way. You know what I mean? If I'm already over here slid, if I'm sliding this way, right over here, can't turn. Can't turn. Yeah. But if I'm here and I go, okay, I need to. At this point, when the hands are below the belt, you better be doing this. Yeah. Don't hit a ball yet. So, first of all, you're feeling that knee go there. Second of all, you're feeling the hamstring that come or yeah, that way, right? Thirdly, okay, go up there and just go slow and stop. Freeze it up at the back. There you go. Now you can let the knee come all the way to here, right? Both knees are going. Yep. And now that knee starts to come back towards me, the hip. Yeah. Right. So there's going to be yeah. So you're going to put you're going to put pressure this way. But you're not going to do it by continuing to fold your suitcase. Okay. okay, you got the suitcase has come to there. Now it's time to pull pull the clothes out of the case. You know? <laughs> you can pull it out of the case. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I like the suitcase coming down. Bang, right? Your inflection. Now we're going to feel like that hip is pulling back while you're still putting some pressure to the left side. Okay. You know, pushing. But first thing is the linkage of this knee. And that hip, yeah, stay there. Sorry about your grip, it's all for good cause. Your knee's gonna go to that line, right? Yeah, there you go, that was cool. That helped you right there. Huh. Go ahead. There you go. So I'm trying to keep that ear in place, right? Knee working, yeah. That feels so different. Yeah, yeah. Put a lot of hard work in, but you're stuck. Yeah. Right? 
So do you feel do you feel more like you're here and there now, yeah. rather than rather than feeling centered? Yeah. You're feeling centered, but you look like a fencer going, <clears throat> huh? On the back swing. A lot of power. You are. Stuck you are. There. And you're really hitting it far already. When I get done with you, you'll be probably adding 10 or 15 yards of club. Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.